Hey guys, so if you use Figma on a regular basis, these Figma shortcuts would come in really handy for you. Let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing you need to learn is how to open the shortcuts panel in Figma. So head on to the bottom right corner on Figma and you would see this question mark icon right here. Click on it, okay? So when you click on it, scroll through the options, scroll to the options, and you would see keyboard shortcuts. You guys select this option, okay? Or you could also hit Control plus Shift plus question mark to achieve same results, okay? So let's see, what do we have here, you guys? So on the first tab, we have Essential Keyboard Shortcuts. And you could go through these shortcuts on your own. And if I move on and switch to the second tab, I have all keyboard shortcuts for tools. For example, I have T for the text tool. I have R for the rectangle tool. I have V for the move tool. You guys, this is really, really detailed. And you get all the shortcuts that you need to know in Figma right here. Okay, if I, for example, move on to the arrange tab, then I have all keyboard shortcuts for arrange, bring forward, send backward, bring to front. You guys, this is really, really detailed. And the components tab, you know, just feel free, you know, to go through these shortcuts on your own and learn as much as you can because it really helps your workflow. Okay. Okay, guys, but today I want to focus on seven very important keyboard shortcuts that I think every UX designer needs to know. Number one, to hide all UI panels. Okay, you guys, let's say I want to hide the layers panel, I want to hide the design panel and the tools bar all at once. Simply hit command or control plus the backslash on your keyboard. So command backslash on your keyboard and just like that, all UI panels are hidden. You guys, I use this a lot because sometimes I just want to focus on my design screens. I don't want any distractions from any of the layers or design panels and UI elements. And this is very helpful. Number two, to open the quick actions panel, hit command or control on Windows plus the forward slash. So command and forward slash and you open up the quick actions panel and now I could search for an installed plugin. I could search for assets and more. It is so easy, you guys, to use. So, so easy. You see, I could easily search for items and assets or plugins and more. You guys, very helpful. Very, very helpful, okay? Number three, to hide or show comments on your screens, simply hit shift plus C. You guys, shift plus C will make your comments visible or will hide your comments, okay? So let's say I have these comments on my screens and I don't want them visible. I don't want them right here, okay? What do I do? I'll simply hit shift plus C on my keyboard and all comments will be hidden, okay? Number four, to toggle between the prototype mode and the design mode, simply hit shift plus E on your keyboard yeah now I'm in the prototype mode and to get back to the design mode hit shift plus E again and I'm back to the design mode this is so so easy and very practical okay I don't have to click I just hit shift plus E design mode shift plus E prototype mode you guys are very easy and very important for you number five to restart a prototype so you guys, let's say you have a prototype and you want to restart the prototype. All you need to do is hit R on your keyboard. Just hit R on your keyboard and your prototype will start from the beginning. It would restart, okay? Very easy to use and very essential for designers. Number six. So you guys, let's say I have so many design screens and elements and I want to fit all elements in the viewport. How do I do this? Simply hit shift plus one. You guys, shift plus one and all your design screens and elements would fit in the viewport. Okay, you guys, number seven. So let's say I have this frame right here. I have this frame, right? And I want to select all layers inside this frame. How do I do that? It is so simple to do, you guys. Just hit enter on your keyboard, hit enter. And all child layers within your frame would be selected. So, so easy to do, you guys. Hit enter 
and all layers will be selected. Thanks for watching and if you liked this video then please subscribe to my channel, turn on notifications, leave a comment so I can bring you amazing content every week, okay? Bye friends!